The big news is that two months ago, the American Heart Association did a lot of the work for us. They convened a scientific committee to develop a consensus statement on alternative methods to lower blood pressure. This is the first time that any national medical body has reviewed the, lit the literature on alternative methods for cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and come out with a consensus statement. One of their conclusions was that alternative treatments that include the transcendental meditation technique are recommended for consideration in treatment plans for all individuals with blood pressure greater than 120 over 80. Now the hypertensionologists in the crowd all know that lifestyle modification is recommended in every country, as far as I know, as first-line therapy for individuals with pre-hypertension and stage one hypertension. And then after an adequate trial, those with stage one or higher may need to move on to drug therapy, but at least including lifestyle modifications, adjunctive therapy. The big news here is that these are what were previously thought of as alternative lifestyle modifications, including stress management, meditation, relaxation, now moving into the mainstream. A second conclusion from the AHA was that the transcendental meditation technique is the only meditation or relaxation practice that has sufficient evidence to indicate that it lowers blood pressure. And I'll show you some of that data and how they came to that conclusion, surprising as that may sound. Here's the title page of their publication, just to show you that it's real. This is called Beyond Medications and Diet, Alternative Approaches to Lowering Blood Pressure, a scientific statement from the American Heart Association, came out in June of 2013.